I'm gonna just do a little special edition and I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm certainly excited to make it and if you guys do like it, make sure that you like and comment and subscribe so that I know that you like watching these type of videos. So we have a red-footed tortoise and his name's Tank. <laughs> He's only about 2 inches right now but he can reach up to 18 inches and we're not sure actually what gender he is yet because they have to grow. In order to tell, I'll get into that later, but um, I guess I'm just going to do five things that you need to know before purchasing a, I guess I'll just do a red-footed tortoise, but all tortoises in general are pretty much the same. He's like crawling around. Alright, so I guess I'll start off by showing you guys ours. This is Tank. It's probably about three inches. He came to us about two inches. They grow pretty slow. But anyways, so I guess the first thing would be that when before purchasing a red footed tortoise, you should know that they can reach up to 18 inches and they grow, they can live up to 50 years. I guess the second thing would be like what to feed them. So I picked Tank, a uh, red footed tortoise, because he can eat a lot of interesting things. They're all omnivores, but um, you can't really give like a sulcata, which is a desert tortoise, a lot of fruit which I kind of found would be pretty inconvenient. Um, so I picked Tank because he can eat any types of fruits, all types of vegetables, he can have protein, and pretty much anything like that. So in that category, they're pretty easy to maintain. Um, so housing, you could make a tortoise table, which is like um, an old, ca an old um, drawer, and you could put turn it on its side obviously and then it set everything up in there but I guess the main thing with these tortoises is that you can't have a see-through like terrarium or aquarium like most other pets because they are really curious and they want to climb out etc and they when they can see it like kind of tortures them but if you have it like blocked off in some way blacked out then they won't do that as much they need a water and the way that you can make them drink, basically force them, is by soaking them in water. But take a little bowl or just whatever you choose and put some water in it. Like, you shouldn't go over their head. They can't really swim. <laughs> but don't be alarmed when they stick their head under there and look like they're about to drown because this is how they drink. So they'll stay under there and they can stay under there for like 10 minutes before they need to come for air. And they'll just be taking in water that whole time. And then another way is by spraying their tank down, which you do need to do because it can provide them the humidity that they need. Also, they can drink off of like the walls and stuff like that, which he doesn't really do that often. In fact, about them is that they are pretty, obviously pretty hardy. All tur turtles are pretty hardy, but um, he can whoa, survive in temperatures as low as 40. Now, I would obviously suggest this because it's dangerous for them, but he can adapt to things really well, like 95 degrees to 40 degrees, I think they, they're pretty cool. But yeah, they're going to need a basking spot, which is at least 90 degrees, and then you're going to need to have um, hides for them so they can get away from that light because they like to fluctuate their temperatures. Alright, the last tip for you guys is going to be their food. And what, just what they eat, I guess not really a tip, but what they eat. So, he's an omnivore, which means that they can feed on fruit, vegetables, and meat sources of protein. So, I chose him. Not all tortoises can eat a lot of fruits. Like, if they're in the desert, they can, it can hurt them to have too much water, basically. But for this little guy, he can have lots of fruit, as much fruit as he wants. It's not citrus ones. And then he can have vegetables and some protein. So for protein, I could just boil him an egg or give him some like a dead cricket or something. You don't really want to give them live ones because obviously they're not quick. <laughs> um, on top of your vegetables and fruits, I would suggest putting calcium, but there's also a debate about that too and if they really need it. Um, the main thing is you want to make sure they don't get a curved shell, like a one that isn't smooth on the top, and it's called pyramiding. And it's some some forms can be not as bad than others obviously but um it can lead to problems with them because another fact about them is that you would think that a shell 
is not very sensitive, but it actually is pretty sensitive just like skin and it's attached to their bones. So they do have the great ability to grow back their shell though if it was to chip, but it would hurt them really badly obviously. But a lot of tortoises can recover from this. So I guess that's all that I really have. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I promise I'll make the next one longer and better and more thought out. But thank you and have a good rest of your day or night.